Hi people, welcome to my Let's Play, episode 21 of my third season. We today are hopefully going to finish the preparations to change all of this, uh, well at least half of my sorting system, into something that uh, won't be requiring a clock to work, hopefully. So I did notice, and you might as well, that I made a mistake yesterday. Uh, I crafted item sync modules and they act like uh, regular basic logistic pipes. You see, this is a regular logistic pipe, you hit it, you can make it a default route and place item sync here. So if we place uh, here an item sync module, we see it works the same way. However, we don't want to do that. Because if I try to move items and the like, well, uh, if for example I, I decide this place in here is too filled with uh, silver and I want to move the diamonds to another chest, then I would need to go down and change the stuff. However, there is another option. In here, if we take uh, one rose and make ourselves some rose red, and a flower and make ourselves some dandelion yellow, we get uh, two colors, but if we place them together, ta-da, orange. And we're going to need uh, quite a bunch, a bunch of them. And if we place them in here, we get a polymorphic item sync module. Now, the polymorphic item sync module uh, requires only requires no maintenance, like the green one. So we would only need to be uh, to move the items the polymorphic will take care of the system uh, asking for those it needs so let's uh, make ourselves seven like this and of course uh, i'm going to have to eat myself the item sync modules <laughs> for now let's uh, leave them in here so now we have the provider and the polymorphic so we now need the quick sort uh, one. So we require a diamond gear. For everything else it's fairly normal, like uh, extractor module. And extractor modules are, well, fairly cheap as you can see. They only require, well, essentially the same materials but with uh, some extras. Okay, instead of a diamond uh, gear, they would be using an iron gear, as you can see here. And we're going to graph one, and I'll show you why in a moment. And of course, we ran out of gold nuggets. Oh dear, no, no, it wasn't a gold nugget, but uh, we needed. What is it? Uh, lapis, maybe? Yes, it was lapis. There we go, quick sort module. And now we're going to get the iron gear, turn it into a golden gear, and we're going to place the structure downstairs. So we now have a structure Mark II module. The difference between the Mark I and the Mark II are essentially that uh, the Mark I will extract, extract uh, one item per, fifth, uh, per six, uh, five seconds, and the Mark II will do the same each second. Now if I can... yeah, perfect. It was a, this, there's a small problem with the boots I am wearing right now, the seven leech boots. They tend to, well, uh, make a little difficult to get into um, holes and the like. Okay, and we need to remove uh, this from here. We can remove also the cabling. Oh no, not there. Mm, let me drop a piece of dirt. We did, yeah, we did catch it. Perfect. There we go, perfect. And now we need to place in there a chest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on, chest, come. Perfect. 
and let me search this in here, place the chest in there, and we can place in here this. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is to place uh, this chassis under these uh, chests and another one in here if I can manage to, oh well, I can place it in here anyway. Perfect. And now we need to merge them together. Um, for that, let me see. No. We can uh, ignore our basic logistic pipes and get ourselves stone transport ones. See how these things uh, went from red to green? It's because they are now connected. If we remove it, you can see there's a red in there. But that's because they are talking to each other. So now we're going to use our wrench and of course uh, let me take care of this and say we don't need to take care of what we do here. We're going to place a provider module so we can ask for these items and the polymorphic in all the all these chests. So I'll do that and I'll be back with you. And we are in the last one. If I hit in the exclamation in here the polymorphic item sync module, you can see nothing happens. But if I hit in the provider, we get the same uh, graphical user interface we would get by hitting with the wrench a provider pipe. So I'm going to switch and tell it leave one item per stack. Considering what I have in here, all these coolant cells, that won't be of much use, of course. But uh, I am, as you can see, moving the items to another chest. And yeah, in the end, I changed this here because I want this to be the default route. And if you are if you are watching Direwolf 20's Let's Play, you might have noticed I don't plan to leave this chest as a default route. This chest will act only as uh, a buffer of sorts. I am going to place in here first the quick sort module, and this will essentially send, for example, these two diamonds where they belong. However, when there are items it doesn't know what to do with, like this iron gear, it won't be trying to do anything because it, it doesn't know where to send them. However, I will place this tractor mark 2 piece in here and you can see the gear goes to the default route. Ta -da! So this is another way of making, of making this work. Um, I believe that was 20's way is a little more efficient in regards to cost. But, uh, well, I am essentially using this chest just as a, bu as a buffer, not as uh, something you might be wanting to access. And uh, an idea I have for the future, when I change all this system from tubings from, to pipes, is to place some automatic crafting tables down here and, for example, turn all the sugar canes into into paper directly but uh, that will have for, to wait for the future so for now the system is okay I need of course to well work this uh, a little uh, Eternalist fuel is nowhere here to be found so let's place it in here and everything else should be okay and finally, we need to add two small details. First, I am going to place, for example, in here, this logistic pipe, and tell it connect with, uh, for example, to 101. Can receive through. Right now, there's nothing connected to, to there, but I should uh, note it. 101 storage. Remember, it is important to have the can receive true, so the pipes can talk to, it, talk to each other. And the other thing I need to tell you is the extractor, we can change this. This is a functionality from the sneaky pipes, made for the same person that made the logistic pi pipes, uh, craft. 
and it's, uh, it, it decides from where do you want the pipe to extract items. You can tell it to extract from the top, the side, or the bottom, or let it uh, to keep being at default. Right now it is extracting from the side, but it's chest, so there's no problem. You can see here we have slight clog up of items, more than likely because we had so much uh, items up here. But it should uh, sort itself out. Of course, the little problem is the um, it doesn't know where to place this. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, remove them from here. Of course, you need to consider one little thing. Is uh, it's that. From here, no item will be pulled out. So remember, see how now it goes out uh, much faster. So remember, if you ask for any item in here, you will get nothing. So I should change this uh, logistic pipe, which uh, with a default inventory for a chassis one with uh, with an item sync and the provider. But for now it's okay since I don't uh, have a crafting si system right now. As for the crafting system, uh, oh of course, the sneaky pipe functionality by the way is because of this. So for example we can have a single pipe on the top and use it to also extract items from the side. This will let us make a much compact set of uh, items. And uh, yes, the other thing I wanted to tell, to tell you is of course where are we going to place the, um, the pipes. You can see right now, by the way, that engine, that uh, redstone engine is uh, yellow-red. Don't worry, it's normal and it won't explode. Those uh, will never explode. And here is where, am I, where I am going to place that teleporting pipe. In fact, I can go ahead and place it in here. It was 101, yes, I can receive true. Well, right now it's connected to nothing, so let's leave it at false. And we can start placing items into these uh, automatic crafting tables and placing crafting logistic pipes in there. Not for now, however, since again I don't have the required uh, materials. I lack resources. We need more spend gas. Oh dear. Anyway, uh, I want to turn all these six uh, collectors and place them on the top, for example, in here or there or in the floor, I'm not sure right now. So they will all uh, move the same item. In fact, I only need five of them, not six. So um, I might be burning one of the of this Mark II to get back the items uh, that make it in order to craft myself a Mark III. I'm not sure right now. Or I might uh, just burn one Mark I or update it to Mark II, whatever. Le uh, I'll, I'll think about it. Just so I can graft uh, more Eternalist fuel quicker. We now have seven. Haha. <laughs> seven Deadly Sins. I like that movie. Uh, of course, we don't have any more in here, and yeah, I know I mostly was a fool by making so much cactus green, but uh, remember, we can turn the cactus green into pipe waterproof. So, with this being done, I believe the next step should be to start thinking about uh, bees. Beekeeping should be our next. Uh, Pro uh, project, if for nothing else, to let the bees work by themselves. Oh, look! Uh, 
I don't really need to break it, especially since I am placing it. Uh, oh, and so we can place it in here. If you remember, these are covers. We can place these vines on top of covers. And I believe it, this looks uh, quite nice. Maybe a little monotone with uh, all this, all there, but nice. As you can see, yeah, this uh, here not really rich to the collecting seals on there. But we can hit them manually or, of course, we can place here some more seals or something. More than likely, it was uh, enough with uh, just an earth and shadow in here, another in here, another in here, and another in here, instead of using earth, shadow, shadow. Uh, no, sorry, uh, wind, no, earth, wind, wind. Uh, collecting was earth, water, wa earth, sorry. This is earth, water, earth. And I suppose it would be it would have been enough with just uh, earth and water, just f using four of them. And I am sure, for some reason, I have uh, I keep having a surplus on on animals. Oh well. And of course, oh dear, no, I got. There we go. These are the, the dangers of uh, placing a chicken in there. Not, uh, not to worry, the cart will automatically till this earth and plant a seed in it. Oh dear. So much thing is in here. Yeah, I should uh, start placing an extraction pipe from the logistic pipes or something to send all these items into the mine system. However, at the speed I use them, more, it's more than likely I will clock the system. And yes, we are on a reproduction spree. Oh dear. Let's see how much of this can we make up. And it seems like they are all ready. So, who fought alone? Oh, a cow. Poor little cow. Oh well. Anyway, uh, back to resource gathering, I suppose. So I'll be back with you as soon as I have more resources to start uh, plundering. Uh, sorry, not I won't be plundering anything. Haha. <laughs> I will rearrange it. this thing is in here a little. So until then, uh, I'll be back. Okay, before I go to gather resources, I thought uh, it would be okay if we were to well start with the beekeeping business after all i told you already i was going to do that <laughs> didn't i so we're going to craft three uh, apiaries you can see the recipe requires 14 gears four glass and a sturdy machine and we're going to use three apiaries because we have three princesses and three drones now, another thing it is important to remember is that apiaries uh, require flowers, essentially <coughs> standard flowers. Uh, they won't work with indigo flowers from Best Power 2, at least uh, last time I tested they didn't. And uh, they require sunlight, they want, uh, and they want to be happy with uh, a eternal light, so light source like like glowstone and uh, they require they have a uh, specific needs when it comes to environment 
in this instance I, I took Meadows queen, uh, Princess and Drones because they will work in well in a planes environment. Uh, if you remember, I already have some winter bees, but they would require to be there in the snow biome down there. So let's uh, let's say I want to place them, for example, somewhere close by. Oh yes, I already told you this. Uh, here was an under, underused uh, setting. So let's uh, place uh, one in here, one in here, and the other in here. Let's cl clear this a little. Yeah, sh this should be enough. Let's uh, graph ourselves some flowers. Perfect. And now we need to place the princess on top and the drone on the bottom. Of course, you got, you're seeing now unknown genome down there. That's because we need uh, another item, and you can see it's not day time, so they won't work. They are on a strike. Ah, damn bees! They refuse to work. Uh, well, as I was telling you, we require a new step, and that is the bealizer. I don't have the slightest idea how to craft one because it's not working with the recipe. So I believe uh, we might need a carpenter to make it work. And the carpenter turns, um, places stuff inside crates, for example, like this. You can see crated nicolite, crated bog earth, etc. And also helps to craft some uh, uh, forestry items. Anyway, it is useful to determine the, heri the genetic heritage of your bees, so you can mix them better. Oh, and look, there's a nice particle effect coming out from the apiaries. This it looks like little bees getting out, and you can see the the queen is getting damaged slowly while producing honeycomb. Now, the honeycomb can be used by itself. And you can see here there's honeycomb, simmering uh, conf, stingy conf, frozen conf, dripping conf, silky conf, and parched conf. And of course, an habitat locator. That's uh, another. I believe I have like uh, three or four different uh, compasses in game right now. Anyway, uh, it's one of these is uh, produced by its version of the queens. There are several. You can see there's even a tropical queen, uh, etc. <coughs> and uh, they are not going to be um, incompatible with any mod that's uh, at new environments because they react to the biome's temperature in the last patch, not to the type of biome per se. So uh, we need to craft a centrifuge. If, uh, as all forestry machines, it requires a sturdy machine, so I'll, I'll hit U and search for it. Squeezer, nope. Having several versions of thing is, of course, not helpful. Uh, don't tell me only, it's only used for squeezers. Ah, I must have it... Uh, Something by mistake. Centrifuge. So, copper on the sides, a sturdy machine in the center, and glass on the top and bottom uh, is enough. If I can get inside my own house, of course. <laughs> so, we'll get one of these, uh, two pieces of glass. I thought I had more glass. Did I place it in here by mistake? Nope. Oh well whatever and we need some copper I believe six was uh, enough so there we go a centrifuge uh, 
Now, centrifuges require um, Billscraft power, so they want. Oh, look! The bees are coming inside the house through through the walls. So we can't uh, just place it in in the in the floor and let it work. You can see, hey, this is a new graphical interface. So we're going to need some sort of uh, well working mechanism. Now I believe I do have some more. No, I don't. Don't I? Do I? Mm, no. Okay, I'm going to craft uh, two more. Where did I place all those tin gears? Maybe it's all in here. Yeah, it was all in here. Gonna need two of those, four of these, some tin. There we go. Yeah, six. It's enough. Okay. And there we go, electrical engine. And now I'm going to set up uh, with some electricity. And I will have it, uh, well, I'll look for a place and I'll be back with you in a second. And so I want to test if this will work with, uh, oh dear, more than enough. It was a little overkill with uh, all this. And f in fact, Maybe I don't even need to have this. Yeah, see, they are working nice enough. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, why don't I place this fella in here? It's a nice spot, at least for now. And the viewer is magnificent. So let's place. Uh, yeah, I'm going to place it uh, with a bad box. Uh, of course, sorry. <laughs> uh, first, I need to place the electrical engine, and of course, it's better if I do it like so, just in case. I don't want to risk uh, any explosions or, or the like. There we go, perfect. Mm -hmm. Now this. And this. Is it working? Yes, it is. Perfect. Now we graft ourselves some wood. See how high. Well, of course, I could just uh, hit shift for jumping one. I just remember it like now. Oh well. Yeah, I crafted one bad box just a moment ago because I didn't uh, realize I was going to craft it, that other. Uh, if you were curious, by the way, you can craft a bad box with completely filled up uh, batteries. You won't get any advantage from that. They will the, uh, discharge all their energy and the bad box will come empty. But, well, nice to know anyway. Mm, where do I have the ice? Oh, yeah. So here and here and here. And we place this in here. Perfect. So we can now storage all this stuff. So let's see the insides. You pr you place here the I, the thing is, let's go grab some. <laughs> it's fairly quick this. Oh, they already died. So we can essentially choose which one do we want to place down there. But uh, well, since we don't we are flying blind here right now, there's no, not uh, much of a point. But you can see we got ourselves 14 honeycomb. So let's place it in here. You can see there was some small amount of power stored. And the system keeps working. And we get honey drops and beeswax. 
Now, this wax can be used for several things. You can use it to craft wax, wax capsules, which work like the tin capsules of uh, industrial craft. Oh, we can use them to craft torches. This is nice to know. And you can use them for pipe waterproofing. Well, I... Since it's night time, I let it... Uh, I let it without... Whoa, that was quite a fine wall without any damage. I'll let it uh, stay for now. Once it has uh, enough pa uh, things to do, I'll turn it on. And of course, you can... There's a pipe here, the Apiarist's pipe. Crafted like so, the propolis is really hard to get. You need uh, the noble branch of bees to produce it. And you can automate the process of crossbreeding. For now, I can only automate using logistic pipes the process of uh, placing the same the same queen, the same princess up there. And nothing else. I can use logistic pipes for for that also. Uh, okay, and of course this should be better placed in the main room, so the contents of the centrifuge can be placed into the main system. But for now, I suppose it's good where it is. Uh, perfect. There we go. There it is. Another thing I want to show you, by the way. Oh, I s I felt that. Uh, this was Eldritch, maybe? Voice chests, well, I, gr I got some of them. Uh, they, this voice chest from Towncraft, by the way, can work uh, in a le uh, in a, the same way the other nether chests, other storage, I, nether, this, yeah, the nether chests from Chicken Bones do uh, they can be an add-on can be placed on top of them and uh, linking their inventories together but uh, and they have a huge uh, inventory yeah see voice interface uh, but I was looking for something else something else oh the bracelet of souls nope mm hmm I was looking for the Crucible of Souls. Yes, this is it. With a gas tier, remember we have two, some rotten flesh, more than enough, some bones we have, uh, soul fragments we have some, and a crucible. We can craft the Crucible of Souls. The Crucible of Souls works the same way as a normal crucible. However, instead of uh, burning items, it will burn uh, living creatures, for example, monsters. So I could uh, remove the lava blade I placed down there, and instead place the um, place that one. However, it has a small problem, being that uh, generates huge amount of taint. Not really a problem if I provide it with enough. What's the matter with you? If I provide it with enough um, filtering systems. But for now, I don't have a uh, abyss purifier, so it um, it will need to wait for now at least. And yes, I do plan to automate the process of feeding humus to the arboretum. Uh, the most efficient way would be a provider pipe, but I would need to expand this uh, all this system a little. Do not worry, however. It is no V. We can do it in, in a while. In a while. And that's all for episode 21. Hope you liked it. We start in beekeeping, but it will be a process mostly on the background, like uh, so, so many others I have right now. So they will yield their fruit in the future. Now, if only I had more diamonds. We need more diamonds!
you need more wisp and gas, oh dear. Uh, so that's it. I'll see you in episode 22. Stay tuned and have fun, people. Bye.